The time now is nine minutes past six. In other news to bring you, Theresa May will meet political parties from Northern Ireland today at Downing Street. She'll discuss plans to restore power sharing at Stormont and try to allay growing concerns about her attempt to secure the backing of the Democratic Unionist MPs in Parliament. Um, of course, this news put on the back burner, I suppose, yesterday, rightly so, because of those terrible events in West London. But the question now is about these talks, how tricky they might be. Indeed. Um, something else that was quite peculiarly timed yesterday was the announcement by Tim Farron that he's stepping down as leader of the Liberal Democrats. And now the question is, was he pushed or did he jump? To a Liberal Democrat MP later on as well about that very subject. Chris, for the moment, thanks very much. President Trump is being investigated for possible obstruction of justice. This according to the Washington Post. If confirmed, the move by special counsel Robert Mueller would mark a turning point in the FBI investigation into Russian interference in last year's presidential election. Yeah, this is really good news if you're somebody who, you know, like goes, goes abroad in, in, into Europe and then, you know, wants to use their phone and ends up having I, to pay massive bills for using it for the roaming charges. Everyone's faced at some point. I holiday. turn my roaming off. Yeah, good. But well, then I, then I talk to no to. one while I'm on holiday. Yeah, exactly. Well, you probably have a better holiday for it. <laughs> but now these are some people saying, does this mean I can get a really cheap Spanish phone provider, mobile phone deal provider, and then get abroad and not face any extra costs? You're going to be talking to the boss of three, three later yeah. on. One thing I've noticed, perhaps you could talk to him about this, is that mobile phone providers are saying, oh, and we give you free EU roaming. Yeah, and no, it's, it's already not part then. of it. So yeah. to be a bit more wary about the packages now. Yes, because you might see, although we haven't seen it yet, you might see tariffs start to go up to account for the costs. But it costs nothing. Yeah, but we're going to be talking a bit about that a bit later on. Steph, thanks very much. Time now is 17 minutes past six. Plenty going on in the sport, Mike. Party. A party they've been building up for towards two years or so now, thinking they were going to win. Yeah. Maybe that was the mistake. I'd have to punch, kick, wrestle on the floor. But this will just be about the noble art of boxing. Noble art of boxing. Mm. OK, be good to watch. Thanks very much, Mike. 18 minutes past six. Let's talk to Sarah. Let's find out what's happening with the weather. It's been glorious so far this week. Um, is it set to continue, Sarah? So for most players, that rough would come up to their knees. For me, I'd probably struggle to see her at the top. For us, it would probably go up to our shoulders, wouldn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, so difficult to play in. But yeah, makes, I think it's the longest course as well in US Open history as I well. I think we're going to find this one fun to watch. I think so. It makes it more exciting to watch, doesn't it? All right, Mike, thanks very much. Time now is 20 minutes to seven. Sarah will bring you up how actually when a fire does take place in a tower block, it should be contained. Why hasn't this moved on? Why haven't we seen developments? Darling, uh, thank you very much for joining us this morning on Breakfast. Time now is just coming up to quarter to seven, of course, the Grenfell. Let's find out what's happening with the, with the weather this morning. Well, I can tell you I knew, knew it was pretty warm last night. It was pretty warm this morning. Is it going to last? Oh, well, US, Steph, morning. Yeah, morning, Naga. I mean, we have been talking now for years about how low interest rates have mm. been here. And so what you have is you have a group, things are picking up, therefore they should increase uh, interest rates there. So the rate that they have, they're up again before Christmas. So people are wondering, does that mean we're mm. going to be putting them up too? It's unlikely because our economy... It's interesting that the economies are so divergent at the moment in yeah. some sense. OK, Steph, thanks very much. Time now is David Amos, who is the chair of the all-party parliamentary fire safety rescue group and joins me from Chelmsford. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. Um, what do you think went wrong? Do a report in 2013. I apologise for interrupting, but it's all very well looking back, isn't it? Yeah. But you have been in charge since 2010. This has happened in 2017 in a city dwelling after a report, a recommendation that four years ago hasn't been put in place. Those families, yes, the situation can't be made worse because they've lost loved ones, they've lost their homes, they've lost everything. Why are questions not being asked to the former housing minister, Gavin Barwell, who now has the ear, he's the chief of staff who has the ear of Theresa May. Why has he not said anything? Have you asked him anything? Have you asked for him to account for his inaction? Amos, uh, Chairman of the All-Party Parliamentary Fire Safety Rescue Group, um, talk to us from Chelmsford. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Time is 21 minutes. If the players can't keep it on the fairway, then they're not good enough to be there. So actually yeah. the length of the grass doesn't matter. Exactly. And when you see them hit a ball, 
yeah. and what they what they are training to do. Hitting yeah. straight, we can afford not to. No, could you ever get a ball though out of grass that high? Could I get out of grass yeah. that high? Oh, I couldn't certainly. But you, <laughs> being an, an esteemed golfer, you probably go. Would you just take the shot? And we'd just get lost probably. in the grass. We, we wouldn't be able to see over it. Yeah. Thanks very much. See you later. Time now is twenty minutes to eight. Tim Farron announced he would be stepping down less than a week after the general election. No. <laughs> yeah, these are changes to the rules when it comes to using your mobile abroad, so get in the UK. There are some caveats to this though, as always, if you're on an unlimited data pack, uh, the terms and conditions for your mobile provider and also... Trees. So it's free but not free? Well, yeah, it, it, it is. It's definitely better than what... They're favourites to win the Champions Trophy, but they are out. And so questions are being asked, but... The Gives you goosebumps, doesn't it? Mm. So does this position. It's a bit odd for us. A bit lumpy it? here on the sofa. I've shuffled across That's because I can't remember a time we've had so many former world champions and record holders on the sofa. I know. We're very lucky. We are joined in the studio by three former track and field world champions and record holders. We've got Colin. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us on the sofa this morning. Uh, 8.52. Do you want to do this bit? What? The weather? With Sarah? Let's have a look. <laughs>